want to switch over a little bit to your division. Obviously, I was talking to Jason a little bit about um, the fact that if you guys would ever head to uh, Texas, you know, to get a little bit of work with some 154-pounders out there like the Charlos and Laura, you being a southpaw. Right. Um, I know that you said you want to share the ring with Mayweather, at least in training, but does Laura, since people call him like the junior middleweight Mayweather, um, would that be enough? Yes, yes, definitely. Um, he's a real skillful fighter. I really like his style a lot. You know, he's a southpaw as well, and he knows how to um, use his leverage. He's, he's a Cuban fighter, and I like the way Cuban fighters fight, like Gamboa. You know, even being in the amateurs, I see a lot of those Cuban fighters, and they're, they're real good and technical, and that's the way I like to fight. So, you know, sharing a ring with him, I think that um, it would be something technical and something to watch. Now, I know you're not one to bite your tongue, so when you're looking at this division, I mean, obviously, look, last, what, two weeks ago, Austin Trout, big name, he's had some big fights, you know, he's beat guys like uh, Miguel Cotto, which is always going to be on his resume, he shared the ring with Canelo Alvarez, but he failed against uh, Jamal Charlo. Right. When you were watching that fight, if you did, did you? Yes, I did. Oh, great. Man, yeah. I love that you watch fights. I some watch fighters everybody. don't watch them. Great, watch great. What did you think? Because that's your division. It was a close fight. It was a close fight. Um... I felt like Jamal was, um, he had the upper hand because he was, he was landing the clean of shots a little bit. And um, Trout, Trout was doing good, but I felt like Jamal was just um, landing the clean of shots that the judges would look at and um, help him win the round. With. Now watching the two in there, I mean, I know Trout for a while, he looked very small. Did you look at oh, yeah. that fight and say, damn, am I as big as Jamal? or? Am I bigger than Jamal? Um, I know for a fact Jamal might be bigger than me, but um, height-wise, height-wise, um, he was way bigger than Trout. I feel like he's way bigger than all his opponents, but that 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 really doesn't you know phase me at all. You know, for a fighter to be bigger than me, I'm fighting somebody that's bigger than me right now. You know, on June 18th, my dude's about six one or something, and um, you gotta chop down that tree. So, what would you have uh, done differently than Trout? I mean, he, he did look good in the second half. I will give him that. He was definitely being more elusive than in the beginning of the fight. But it seemed like the size difference was evident and it, it was a problem for him. When, whenever Jamal came forward, you know, Trout didn't have much room to run. Right. Um, I would work my angles. I would kept turning um, the Charlo brother. You know, he would have probably kept coming forward. And eventually, I would have had him on the back end, had him going backwards. You know, I, I don't, that's not my style of fighting for me to just keep moving backwards and keep moving backwards. You know, I like to turn my opponents and get, get them out their comfort zone. You know, if they're coming forward, they feel comfortable. So I got to get them out their comfort zone. I got to turn them, hit them with big shots. I know I don't, I don't hit soft for a 54. And um, yeah, that's what I would have done different.